Hello friends. I'm going to show you how to create an awning or a canopy which is attached to a wall um, in Revit. So let us quickly start a new project here, default metric. Okay, so the idea is that I have a wall here. Say it is going something like this in plan. And uh, here is the 3D view. So say I have a canopy which is running along the length of the wall. So how we can do that, let us see. Now I have created a generic model here. Uh, already I have created a generic model family which is called bracket. So let us look at that family. So here is the family. So this is how the bracket is. This is the wall bracket and the support which we are going to give it for the canopy. This is uh, nothing complicated happening here because you can see if I go to the left side view I have just drawn this profile here like this and extruded now the recess on both sides what you can uh, see actually this is let me show you this is uh, here is the extrusion nothing fancy about it but this is the extrusion and uh, then what I have done is I go to front view you can see I have placed two voids here to cut it so one void here and one void on this side okay these are void extrusions which are cutting into it so that's how I get this flange or I don't know the technical term but I think you got it so here is the bracket okay this family is created and let us load it first into the project but before loading it into the project what we do is we need to have multiple uh, brackets along the length of the wall so for that the best idea i would say is to go for a line based family so let us see how to create it i will go to file new family and i will select this uh, generic model line based this template i will select okay and this bracket family i will first load it into it okay load into my family new family line base family here it is and i will just place it here like this okay now the line base family how it works is if you select any edge in revit then it will be considering that edge in reference with this line and whatever is associated with this line here that is what which is going to replicate there in the project so here what i do is i will first align this bracket to this line like this and lock it there then align the side of this bracket to this line like this this uh, sorry this reference plane and lock it there now you can select this and go for the array command and select the last item okay and I will pick the endpoint here and I will show it here at this intersection and number of items let it be two for the time being we will revise it then I will align this edge to this reference plane this is very important and also this edge to this reference plane like this okay now let us look at the 3d this is what we have in 3d now if i go to the types property family types here the parameters i will first create a new parameter okay so i will create a new parameter called spacing or let us call it bracket spacing okay and this is we can put it as a type parameter because maybe we will be creating multiple types uh, with multiple spacing bracket spacing so in that case let us put it as uh, type parameter hit ok and the bracket spacing by default i am going to give it 600 then i will create one more parameter here to control the count number of uh, brackets required okay so for that i will create a new parameter and i will call it brackets count okay and this is going to be an instance parameter because the line length is going to change from instance to instance 
so we will put it as an instance parameter okay and you can see the brackets count now it is zero I'm sorry one mistake I made because this should be integer type I let me just delete this and create it once again okay so first let me change the type here type of parameter it should be integer and brackets uh, spacing okay and it is an instance parameter okay now you can see it is an integer value here then how to decide how many brackets are required we can put the formula here it is length divided by okay you can see it is two here but we need three here in fact uh, one more in the middle so we can add plus one so this is how it is three apply now you can uh, now what we need to do is select this and uh, select this uh, parameter here and change it to bracket spacing so you go three here now change the length and just flex it and check whether it is working fine so let us put it 3600 apply and now you can see six items are there okay so um, now save this family okay I will call it um, um, this is going to be my support for the one whatever it is you can give whatever name you want save okay now load into project and close I will say to project 2 okay here now you can see I it is asking me to select a line so I can go for pick line and it is to be placed not on face it should be placed on work plane and I will pick this you can see it has come here then this line like this now you are worried about the joints I know that but we will fix it now you can select this and just pull it away from this and you can adjust the joints like this okay so if you want to have a specific value then that also you can provide it here by just by putting a line reference or something uh, at 600 or 1200 from this joint and then you can extend it now the best part about this line based family is that I will show you suppose I need to place this uh, exactly at a distance from this joint and what I can do is I can go to this model lines and draw a circle here okay I mean it is different logic whichever way you want to do you can do that but now let me just quickly show you suppose it is going to be 1200 so I have a circle here and what you can do now is you can extend this because this is line based family the extend command will work uh, for this family so if I go to modify and if I go to extend now you can see select this circle and I can simply click on this and it will extend to that same way this also now you got this and maybe if you are having a corner uh, support here or something like that and all you have to model it separately so select this delete it now okay so that's how you will be dealing with this or else let me for the time being let me just pull it like this okay fine now let us have a look at the same in the 3d it looks like this and now what you can do is you can select this see this the height of this bracket this height is 300 is what I assumed I have created as 300 mm and what you need to do is you select this and you have to specify the offset from host here this offset you will be specifying say 2800 is what the bottom of the bracket should be so now it is pushed on to 2800 height like this now what you can do is I have another family here which is a simple profile family okay so that is uh, uh, here the Perlin profile I have called it there is nothing complex in it it is just uh, some rectangles I have placed it like this all these are lines only some rectangles are there and this width 
I have matched it with the width of the uh, bracket. Okay, it is 1200. So the bracket width is also 1200. Okay, and I have spaced it equally, all these rectangles. So these are just 2D profiles. Okay, so it is nothing but if you go there, you can see that it is profile family. And I will load it into the project and close. Project 2. Okay. Do you want to save changes? Uh, I would say no. It's okay. Then I will go to architecture tab under walls. You have this wall sweep. So go for wall sweep, edit type. And then you can duplicate this. And I will call this perlins. I don't know if that is the correct term, but whatever it is. So the profile, you can select this profile. Okay. And now you can see, you can place it like this for multiple walls and <clears throat> you can see that uh, it is joining it properly at the corners and everything. So you have it like this. Then you can change the height of this. The level offset it is mentioned here as 3900. But what we want is, we know that it is going to be 2800 at the bottom of this plus another, <coughs> sorry another 300 so it is going to be 3100 that's it so this is how you can easily do this sort of uh, awnings or canopy whatever it is now if you have a sheet uh, say some transparent sheet running over this perlins and all you can go for another um, what is a the wall sweep profile 2d profile which is um, if the sheet is going to be 10 mm or something then 10 mm by 1200 you just create a rectangular profile and make it another wall sheet and just run it across uh, so that's it and this is how it will be looking okay so try it practice it and these line based families i would say you explore more these line based families the usage and where and all you can use it, it, will, it is a very fantastic template, family template. Um, so try it out anyway. Have a great day. I will come up with some other video sometime later. Okay. See you. Bye.